ICU is an organization created by Haley Philander and Karen Nelson. The pair founded their initiative with the aim of mentoring young girls whilst equipping them with the tools to thrive and achieve their dreams. Now they also facilitate meaningful conversations where young girls are able to express themselves about issues that concern them in and around their communities. Welcome to The Loft Ladies. Thank, Thank you very much. much. I think that the initiative that you are running is so important right now, especially as we are walking through the current tumultuous and rocky path that we are experiencing as a country. But we are looking at organizations like you to raise up the youth and show them that the sky's the limit, doesn't matter where you come from. And Absolutely. why did you find mentoring so important in your communities? Because, Palesa, I benefited from mentoring mm -hmm. as a young girl and um, firmly believe that that is a part of um, the solution. Yeah, absolutely. And for yourself? I think that, um, like Corin, I benefited from more experienced women coming alongside me mm -hmm. when I really needed it. And, um, you know, part of our program is to input into young women's lives. So what were some of the challenges that you saw young girls experiencing in your communities that you had to stand up and make the change? Um, I, I think that just the access to um, opportunities, um, access to tertiary, you know, um, education, mm. and also our girls not valuing themselves to um, grab those opportunities when they did come along. Mm. Which results, I think, in um, them not voicing mm. um, their opinions, them not finding their voices, mm. and so rather remaining silent, accepting what the messages that they are given. Mm. And those are some of the problems we, or challenges we identified. And I, I believe that the name I See You speaks so powerfully into the message that you're driving into your communities. Mm. Who came Absolutely. up with the name? <laughs> we, we did it together. Yeah. Most, of, Most of the things we did we do together. together. Yeah. We, we sort of think we share a brain. So <laughs> partnership. Yes. partnership. And it really comes out of our, one of our test programs way back in 2014 mm. when we did a feedback session with the ladies. Um, at the time, they were older ladies, not school-going learners. Mm. And one of the comments that stood out for us and really spoke to our hearts was the lady said, um, for the first time, mm. I feel heard, I feel seen. Mm. Not even my parents see mm. me like this. And that resonated with us. Mm. And I see you was born. Absolutely. It's something that we kind of take for granted as mm. a people that by the fact that I'm here, I mean, in, in, in Zulu, there is a greeting that says, Sani Bonani, which says, I see mm. you. And, and I think that is so beautiful, so pivotal. And you've got, you've created now a three-year program for yeah, these girls correct. to go through from grade 10 and 12. Why specifically this age group? Well, I think, number one, you need to walk a journey with the goals. Um, the very nature of mentoring is sort of doing life with goals. Mm -hmm. um, and it takes a while to establish trust. And during our grade 10 year, that's what we do. We establish trust so that they trust us enough to influence them and advise them in grade 11 and 12. Okay. And we build on foundations. Um, mm. So we are in for the long haul. Mm, yeah. Stunning. And I think that this age group is quite telling because it's kind of a shift between adolescence yes. and of course that wild teenage, all over the place, selfish yeah. mode into being a woman, into preparing yeah. yourself for the Absolutely. next stage of life. Absolutely. And that is why I think it's so important, especially in the communities we work, mm. um, that these girls, that, that our mentees, are given an opportunity mm -hmm. to voice that because mm -hmm. it's a natural progression. You're so right. We see it with our teenagers. Um, teenagehood is a beautiful stage. They are trying to establish their independence. And um, we see ICU, part of our role mm. is to help them find their voice mm. in that journey to independence okay. so that they can pursue their purpose. What are some of the main concerns that teenage girls struggle with on a daily in 2019? I mean, we're exposed not only to social media, but yeah. in our actual communities. I find that the progression and a teenager now wasn't a teenager back then. Mm. We know a lot more. Mm. We're more exposed to things. And essentially, it could result in us feeling older. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Relatable. Relatable. Very much so. Um, I mean, I think the, the advent of social media certainly makes it more complex than it was mm. when we were teens. Um, the issues, however, we do find are similar. You know, you're finding yourself, finding um, your voice, yes. uh, finding your um, what you're going to contribute to society. Mm. Um, you're looking at your future, um, you know, what options to pursue. So I think those are similar. Um, and then there are obviously more complex issues in the communities we work, like gangsterism, um, you know, possibly homes where the girls are it's a bit fragmented, the mm. family, um, which I also think are probably issues that were around when we were there. Yes, and so it's, of yeah. course. And, and so, yes, I, I, I want to agree with Hayley. You know, the issues aren't necessarily that different. Mm. I think it's just the context in which we operate that's it's slightly shifting. different. So I think much like we struggled with identity, who mm. am I in this world that I occupy? Mm. I think those are similar struggles and challenges that kids, you know, across the spectrum face. But one of the, I think, complicating factors is that we now live our lives in public. Mm. And so you're constantly comparing yourself mm. to the other. Mm. And sometimes you just don't measure up. And in fact, I think one of the recurring messages in our mentees' um, hearts and the message that they receive is that they're mm. not good enough. Oh, wow. They don't have enough. They don't, they're not enough. Mm. And, and actually, we would like to say or like to see them mm. see their value and worth absolutely and own that i mean i'm very solution driven as a person and i believe afternoon express is definitely pushing that mm. into the south african space and saying we know the problem mm. but let's be the solution and you mm. ladies are doing that so perfectly okay. finally what impact would you like to see your organization having in the communities especially in south africa's current climate I think um, the whole value as a woman and that you have a voice. Um, we would love our girls to walk away with knowing who they are, knowing their value and influencing one other uh -huh. because it's that one other to another to another and that's how I think you impact community. Mm, beautiful. Any last sentiments? I think I, I want to yeah. echo Haley's sentiment because that's really the philosophy behind ICU is that each individual has value and worth. Mm. And if our girls can walk away after three years and see themselves in the mirror and look at mm. uh, herself and yeah. say, I love you. You mm. got it, girl. You got it, girl. Mm. That's what we want to see. Oh, stunning. Self-love, self-respect is definitely mm. a huge part of what we're mm. experiencing right now as a country. And I definitely salute you two individuals who are being the change that you want to see in your community. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Now, join us as we learn some self-centering yoga moves after the break. <laughs>